<laughs> Shannon, what grade do you give the 49ers for this trade? Skip, I give it a B. I think it's a very good deal for the 49ers. Um, he's one of the best backs in football. Uh, you can make a case from his rookie year and his first two years, Skip, he was the best back in football. But then he was besieged by a rash of injuries. And that's the only question. That's the reason I didn't give it an A. Can he stay healthy? Because if he can stay healthy with, the, uh, with uh, Kyle's mind, the way he can diagram runs and get him the ball along with a Debo Samuel, this could be something very, very special. He doesn't make them contenders because they got too many important players that are out, Skip. The best offensive lineman in football, Trey Williams, is out. Nick Bosa, who was uh, at the front the first, before the first two or three games, first two, three games, he was in the uh, defensive player of the year discussion. You got Eric Armstead, Elijah Mitchell, the left guard, Aaron Banks. All those guys are out. When you get those guys back, McCaffrey's on the field and had a couple of weeks up under his belt to get acclimated to the system. Then we'll get a better picture of who and what the 49ers are. But I like this acquisition. I like a guy because he can catch the football. Yep. He can run with the football. He's more than a willing uh, uh, on passing down. That He can block. He can do everything that you want him to do. But it just goes to show you, Baker get there and they return the house down. Mm. The house was already on fire. And I expect Baker to come put the, water, mm -hmm. put the fire out with yep. a hose. Yep. And what did he bring? A big old 55-gallon drum of gasoline. A boom! Yep. And if, their shit blows. If they hadn't got they, robbed no, 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 in the it, opener, no, 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 it would have no, been no, a different no, no. story. I told no, you they you needed told, one game. What, one you, game. what you told me okay. was Baker was going to save the day. Yep. And all he did was end the day sooner. The party was supposed to end at yep. 4 o'clock. We've all had that homeboy to show up and end yep. the party early with his bull jive. Okay. This is got... not a Baker topic, oh, or I would just shred you. <laughs> I would shred you. I gave it a B. I gave, okay. I gave it a B. If he can stay healthy, Skip, they could be on to something. So I think your B is suggesting you don't trust that he'll stay healthy. I I, I, Skip, he missed, he missed 23 games. He missed 23, 23 out games. of 33 yeah. over a two-year period, 19, uh, 2020 and 2021. Right. Honestly. All right. Just because of the injury factor, just because of the shorter shelf life for that position, especially the way he plays it, which is all out. Especially his first two years, Skip. 1,000 yards rushing, 1,000 yards receiving, so you got to get a lot of touches. I'm going to stick in minus on my grade, but I'm still giving it an A okay. minus, okay. A minus. I love the fit, the psychological, emotional fit. You watch this young man basically grow up around <laughs> your locker room, coached by Mike Shanahan, with Kyle around your locker room yep. and Christian around your locker room because Ed McCaffrey, the father, was a fellow receiver of yep. yours. He's a locker with a cross from mine. <sighs> That's a beautiful thing. That doesn't happen that often no. in the world of sports, where it comes full circle back to Kyle Shanahan being able to acquire Christian McCaffrey because the Carolina Panthers fell completely apart and went straight to hell, and the coaches fired, and the owner finally said, I can't stand it, burn it down, and start it over. Yep. So all of a sudden, he became available. It was reported the Rams were very close in, in the hunt for him. Right. The, it was basically just an auction. And, and yet, the Carolina Panthers wanted two firsts. That's what that started Man, with. Man, you ain't getting no two okay. firsts with okay. no running back. Well, ain't no running, running back give you that. Okay. So the 49ers end up saying, well, how about this? How about a two? How about a three? How about a four? And then how about, how the about a five year. the next draft, right? Two right. drafts from now. And finally, that outbid the Rams. And 49ers I, don't even need to skip. They don't need to have a draft next not year. They, got no, year they got no first, no second, no third, no fourth. Hey, y'all take off. Okay, <laughs> but they did have the advantage of the compensatory picks for Sala and McDaniel right. and Mayhew. So right. they had three compensatory picks that they could throw in to sweeten the deal. And they sweetened it enough that they they landed it. I'm not, I can't go to Stolen because even though he's only 26, he's got a lot of wear and tear right. on his body. We had him on at the Super Bowl back in 20, 2020. 2020, yeah. And he really impressed me mm -hmm. because he he's a sharp young man who takes supreme care of his body. He absolutely he, does. He, he, whatever can be done, he's doing yeah. to try to stay healthy. Right. I worried about him coming out of Stanford because he couldn't stay healthy at, in college football. Right. And you always say, you know, not, you know, hurt in college, hurt in pro. Yep. He just goes so hard. He plays all out. He, he, he's not a, 
a ducker and dodger. He he runs through right. people. And if you ask him to run up the middle, he will try to run up the middle. Skip, because you think about it, in college, they ran in between the tackles they because did. Stanford has a very pro-style offense. But he had over 300 catches. He's not Derrick Henry. No. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Skip, he's what, 5'10", 205, maybe? Maybe. And to take 300 carries in college? You, you can't bell cow him. No. You can't just line him up in no. the eye and no. say, no. here he comes. No. You know, they, they've tried, they were able to do it with Zeke in Dallas because he's 225 ish. Right. And even you see, he it took his toll on it's him. He's taking a toll. It's, he's having a little bit of a bounce back, but it's not that much of a bounce back. Right. Because you, you're just not going to last right. very long doing it that way. Right. Emmett Smith lasted because. Oh, he, he ain't taking no punishment. He took no punishment. <laughs> he avoided contact nah. better than any back I have ever yeah. witnessed. This young man, not so much. No. So I fear that for him. But now we got the Kyle factor that you mentioned. Kyle Shanahan, with some help from his father above, mm -hmm. he's got genius in, in coaching and strategizing the run game that, that astounds me. Mm -hmm. It's all what I call not sleight of hand, it's sleight of hand off. Mm -hmm. Because it's a lot of moving parts, it's yeah. a lot of misdirection, it's a lot of creativity between the tackles where it's all about creating angles yep. that nobody creates better than Kyle. Right. Well, if you can give this kid some angles, right. some off tackles, some misdirections, right. where he can hit a crease. It's all about, you, it's all about creating it, hesitation. It is. It is. Well, well if, if, you can, if you can maximize him with, with your strategy, that works yeah. for me. So I love the fit, and I love it that he's getting to go, quote, unquote, home. He didn't grow up there, but... But he played at Stanford. Yeah. And Palo Alto, as you know, it, from where the, the stadium is, it's like 10 minutes right, away. Right. So he's going to feel back home. Right there in Santa Clara now. Right? Mm -hmm. in, in Santa Clara. It's just right there. I mm -hmm. live there. And, and it's a beautiful place. And I think he's going to be very happy there. Right. And the team is absolutely loaded, except for the quarterback, who's pretty good, but he's got a ceiling. Right. 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 And the ceiling, he bumped his head on it <laughs> at, against Atlanta. And right. They lost that game. So they've fallen to three and three. But the point is, this is a move that the, I'm sure they're hoping will serve them well for maybe three years, maybe right. this, the rest of this one and two more. Right. Is that fair for shelf life? Yeah. Is that about yeah. what, what yeah. Christian should have left? Yeah, they, they, I mean, Skip, I mean, he, what, he have like 23, 2,400 yards, uh, yep. scrimmage yards his second year? That's a lot of touches. Okay, right just think about it. We got to throw it to you, and we hand it off to you. We're not just handing it to you, Skip. We're going to throw you, we're gonna throw you another 100 ball. Right. On top of the 200, 200, 250, maybe even 300 carries that we handed it to you. Right. And, and speaking of Baker, when Baker was a quarterback, it degenerated into his, his favorite target, almost as a wide receiver target, was Christian McCaffrey, yep. who was catching balls down the, the field, field from yep. him. Yep. Catching balls in the end zone. Yep. Okay? So you've got that as a weapon added to, as you said, Ayuk and, and Debo, Debo and, and Kill. Kill. I mean, it, it's explosive in a division that screams winnable, right. in an NFC that screams winnable. Mm -hmm. Nobody's emerged, right? Right. It, it seems the, I mean, the Eagles, but everybody else, I mean, the I'm, Cowboys. I'm just saying other than the Eagles. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, Skip, I mean, hey. I mean, if you three, if you three and three right now, Skip, you feel like, hey, bro, we writing a stick, stick of thing. Yeah. It's not like anybody go. We don't see anybody in the West. We don't see anybody in the North or the South running away with this thing. Okay. Now, the Eagles, we see their schedule could possibly – nah. But anybody else can be had. Yeah. So I believe this was as much a Trey Lance move as a Jimmy G move because they're looking toward next year when they hope Trey gets completely healthy after he broke his ankle. Right. And that's – the ceiling rises. Right. Again, can he be as consistent as Jimmy G? I, I hope so. I believe in the kid. We saw flashes, and it was hit and miss early right. on. But th they're they're saying that that it's going to be the, the C-Mac and Trey Lance show right. going forward. Right. And that's what they're looking at. If they could steal one this year, that would be great. Skip, they, they really would have hoped, they really would have liked for Trey to stay healthy because you get better by playing. You don't get better no. by rehabbing and looking at the film. So what do you see here? So when they, you know, they quit you. So, Trey, what, what would you be thinking here in the situation? You need to be on the field. You do. And then ask that man, what were you thinking in this situation? Not have him laying up there look, looking at it on, on the film screen and, and, and yeah. rehabbing his leg. But I gave it a B for the simple fact of injuries. I can understand okay. why you gave it an A-. minus. Okay. But you're right, Skip. If he can stay healthy, he can be dangerous in this offense. Okay, back to my minus. For some reason... The running backs who have played for Kyle are cursed. Hurt. They're just cursed, man. 
And I don't know if it has to do with the scheme. I, I don't know if, if they're getting thrust into more dangerous situations right. because of the creativity of it. I, I don't know. I mean, TD, TD uh, uh, tore his ACL, but yep. that was a freak accident. Terrell Davis. Terrell Davis. But, Skip, mm -hmm. when you look at the backs, so Clint Portis didn't get hurt. Mike Anderson didn't get hurt. Ruben Drones didn't get no, hurt. Orlando's good. Gary didn't no, get hurt. No. All those guys went for 12 blood. Those blood. are all Mike Shannon. Yes. Guys. Yep, okay. So this. But, but this litany of these. And, and yes. Kyle's just been putting a bunch of no names right. in there. You, you look at you look at Mostert. He, he got did. injured. You he look did. at Breda. He, he got he injured. Did. You look at Wilson. He got he injured. You're, you're absolutely right. I, I don't know. And then Elijah got hurt yeah. this year. So it's been, it's been a parade of injuries. They need to drink some milk or okay. something. I, I don't know. Is it just bad luck? <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't know. So I worry about Christian getting, who, who can be injury prone, getting thrust into an injury prone scheme. Right. It's it's dangerous. It's shocking, you know, what, what's it, happening. It, it is. Yeah. Now that you mentioned it, it is. I mean, all their backs, they stay hurt. They just stay hurt. But I still love the fit. Oh, yeah. And if he can, he, he's been relatively healthy this year in Carolina. If he can stay relatively healthy, th then he'll be a steal for yeah. them. The difference maker for sure, guys. He did so many fabulous things for the Panthers. It'll be fun to watch him in San Francisco and see what he can do in that offense. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.